Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial guide for PUBG Mobile. So um, I'm playing this game using the Memu emulator to play it on my PC. Now rest assured, fine, it's a mobile app, but the game does detect if you're using emulators and it will only queue you against other people who are using an emulator. So don't worry about that side of things. Now, uh, what you have in the game, the sort of typical app layout, you have um, achievements, you have your inventory and so on. You can see I'm working through my achievements. Whenever you see these um, dots, it just means something to alert your attention to it. So as time goes on, just make sure whenever you see an orange dot, you investigate and go through the menus. Very typical of apps. Now you have a lot of different game modes in the game, lots of different maps you can get, and you have an arcade mode, you can switch between first and third person mode, as with the standard PUBG, and then you also have an event mode. So right now there's a zombie survive till dawn um, mode in the game, but we'll work on classic for now. And then um, you can also see your latency to the different areas. So obviously I'm going to now select Europe because I'm in Europe. And um, generally as well, what's really fun about this game, if we just quickly jump into a match, is the quality of life changes and the sort of generic things which just make it more useful and more appropriate for an app. So for example, one thing which I'll show you once we get into the game is you have auto looting. So in the main game of um, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, you have to pick up I mean, you still have to do in this game. You have to pick up attachments for your weapons. You have to um, get extra bullets or scopes or grips or whatever. Now, in this game, and you also have your vest and your backpack helmet. In this game, all of that is automatically picked up and assigned to you if it's an upgrade to you. The only thing that you manually have to select really is if you want to switch out weapons. Let's say you find a better gun than the ones you have already. And um, if you want to switch out, for example, your grenades, and that's basically it, you concentrate more on the um, looting and shooting. So you just loot, it picks up, it automatically does. So you're not going to be menu surfing much in this version of the game compared to the main game. And graphically, you can see the game looks fine. So even if it's an app with, for example, an emulator, you can ramp it up. So if I was playing it on phone, I would be playing it on my iPhone X. But I'm playing this game on my PC and it's been really, really fun. So one thing you also have in this game, you can jump um, together. So like in um, other battle royales, you can jump as a group or you can jump individually. So it's up to the team if, if you want to do it. Now, one thing I would recommend as a new player is to practice the game in squad mode. You have people helping you out, backing you up and so on and spend the time to learn what guns you like you know what works well for you you know what um, sort of loadouts you want what is um, good to have and what I would also recommend is just getting used to the sort of quirks of the game now generally um, you want to start the game simply going to a place which is not too overly overly and like um, overrun by other players, especially if you're a new player. So you can see I'm going straight down. So the, the more directly you go down, you can see the quicker you go. So um, that's why I'm sort of, you know, nose diving as quickly as I can down to get as quickly to the ground as possible. Because sometimes at the beginning of the match, um, getting a gun before the other person could be the difference between staying in the game or not, especially at the beginning. Um, so, okay, we're now down. So let's see, go into these houses and see if we can find anything. So, okay, we've got a backpack. You see, I didn't have to pick that up. It automatically picked it up just by me running over it. So all I have so far is a backpack. So let's see, we've got some bandages. The auto looting is so useful, it really is. Okay, I've got an Uzi now. So what it also does as well, you can see I got the Uzi. Then it started assigning the uh, bullets. So it didn't pick up bullets unless it actually there is a gun for you to pick them up for. So, okay, let's go in here. And make sure as well to, um, okay, I got a vest. I got a shotgun as my second weapon. Um, enemies ahead. Okay, so what, what you also have in the game, you heard it just say now, enemies ahead. That was the in-game chat um, that you can use in the app. So in the app, what you can do is you can click this button here, this uh, speech bubble, and you can put random 
commands, um, which will put as voice chat to the rest of the team if you're not using uh, voice chat. So it's a way to communicate with your team. So what weapon is this? That's an SKS. Okay, so I'm going to switch out my shotgun. So you see, in that case, I I did actually um, use my buttons to switch things out. But generally, most of the time, you'll be auto looting in this game. So going forward, let's see if we can find someone to take on. So keep your eyes wide open. Try and keep aware of where your team is on the mini map. But obviously, the main focus of the game is stay alive. <laughs> so I mean, that's what battle royales are. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun with this game. I almost considered the app version of this game to be like a, begin a beginner version compared to the main game. So because of all the auto looting. So if you're if you're not used to these sort of games um, and you, you don't really know about the attachments, just play this app version for a while. Like I said, you can play it on PC. It's 100% for free. You can download it uh, via the App Store, um, Google Play or... Um, iTunes or so on and um, so on okay so you can see now we've got a backpack we have a vest we have a helmet we have our guns we have a few bullets you can get gas cans for your cars as well or your vehicles to get around the map now generally at the beginning of the game you have um, about you can see the timer here so you see this timer is counting down so you have about three minutes so what you want to do is um, in that time loot as much as you can but then pay attention to your map so you see this circle the game collapses and it pushes um, players to be within a, a shrinking circle every couple of minutes and that's just designed to make sure that the players eventually have to confront each other if you stay outside the zone then you will just start taking damage and if you stay outside it too long you will just die to the damage of the zone so be careful that's all I will say so and again always keep your eyes open if you want to put your weapons away in this version of the game um, you would just select the weapon again so in my case I'm selecting um, I have my um, SKS uh, selected so I just select it again you see it's put my weapon away the advantage of putting your weapons away it means you run quicker but um, that's only really important if you're trying to run a great distance to uh, close in on the zone now what you also want to do as well is especially when you're in squad games just work with your team if you can back them up great but do yourself a favor don't hug them like don't make it easy for an enemy to shoot more than one of you like do try and work tactically like and also as well don't block your teammates physically do try and always think how to do things now yeah, the reason I paused just then is because I thought I heard footsteps so what's really good in this game is the directional audio so being alert of the sounds of what's around you hearing footsteps outside above you below you whatever can just make you plan tactically what you would like to do you know as in like to make sure you have the jump on the enemies Obviously, running through an open field like this is not a good idea. That's why I'm looking around like a maniac. Now, one thing I would recommend as well, painkillers or energy drinks, um, if you consume those, then you get one quicker run speed. Two, you get like a regen on your health. So medkits and bandages will only ever get you up to about 75% health if you are injured below that. But um, the painkillers and energy drinks will then give you a, a renew all the way back up to 100 so and it can make a difference in an extended battle fight if you have the energy drinks or painkillers up um, because um, it can really just give you the regen it, it could be the difference between life or death basically so i'm slowly trying to walk towards my team so you can see obviously on the map there's two three four on the map or the people right in front of me like these are all teammates they're all squad mates so like, it is a squad game there's 46 players left you can see that in the top left of the screen but the auto looting is so is such an improvement for me personally um it, it makes it life a lot easier so i can just work tactically on the actual concept of the game which is just simply winning the battle royale rather than worrying about item menu surfing and so on okay so let's open the door Okay, some more bullets. So anyone around? 
Okay, there's my team over there. So let's go down. There is fall damage in this game, in case you're wondering. Now, um, going um, into these sort of games, it's obviously a lot more fun to play them with friends. You know, play them with as many friends as you can, uh, because any game really is, is more fun with friends. It could be anything, in my opinion. So if you have friends who also play this game, then jump in with them. And um, it's obviously the higher you get and the more wins you get, the more kills you get, then it can just be more and more uh, satisfying. Now, in terms of the weapons themselves, the shotgun is amazing for up close and personal because the amount of damage it puts out will just decimate all opponents. But um, you do need to just practice with each gun, see what works for you. Okay, so 27 left, 26. Wow, people are getting destroyed right now. It, it always it shows, um, you can see the list of who is attacking who. Okay, so there's my the rest of my team. So let's go. All right, so I joined my team and we're now looking towards um, getting because we're, we're getting now the 16 players left. So we're getting almost into a top 10 situation. Um, and the map is getting smaller. We've not had that much action this game. That's just it's a tip. Like I said, it's a typical thing of battle royale. Sometimes you'll you'll go in and you have like 10 um, different battles that you might have to face other times you'll go in and you'll have literally nothing so but the point is um, there can only be one winner <laughs> at the end of the day oh, 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 oh. he's shooting me ah. nice so I got him so let's have an energy drink Nice. To be honest, that was probably a, uh, a lucky shot on my part to be able to get him down so quickly. Let's take another energy drink. Okay, cool. So like I said, it is obviously it's a mistake to run through the open like this because you saw he was trying to just pick me off. And with this game, the zone will shrink so much to a point where it's impossible not to have a confrontation eventually. So you have to just survive as much as you can. Um, you can choose to hide the whole time if you want, but it's it's more um, better for you in the long run to not be scared to be in uh, fights because you need, to, as a in a battle royale situation, you, you need to get used to that. So if I put my weapon away, then I'll run quicker. So look, let me put my weapon away. So now I'm running even faster towards the zone. But always be ready to put weapons out. Now we can hear an airplane coming. And sometimes airplanes bring supplies and uh, drops that you can get, which will have amazing weapons in it. I think I saw someone right there. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I got him. Like I said, if you are unprepared, you just never know. It could be the zone that kills you, not other players, if you're not prepared. Are we going to make it? I think we're going to make it just, just making it. Okay, we just made it into the zone. Eek. Okay, we knocked the other player, but I'm going to keep swimming, get into the zone. I've only got 20 seconds left. Uh, this is obviously not ideal. This is bad planning on our part. Okay, the... Oh, crap. So, I was shot by an enemy player. What a, sh what a shame. What a real shame to... So, it was the zone, and some... While swimming a stupidly long distance, that got me killed. So... Is he going to survive with 1 HP? Not likely. dead oh well so not bad we finished second it, it was a silly way to die like to be just picked out in the water like that but that's it so that's that's PUBG mobile it runs really well in my opinion like I said you can use it on um, a emulator to play the game on PC you can play it on iPhone you can play on Android and so on so what you can also do as well um, is you can visit 
uh, my quest mode. So if you go to my quest mode, the link will be in the uh, description of this video. You can download the app and you can do quests in the game. So um, please do. So one second. Um, mystery airdrop found. Open it. Ooh. Okay. So let's take a look what that is. I've now leveled up. Okay. Let's close that. So and what you can do as well in the game, you see, I've been collecting these coins. I've got 5,000 of these coins. You can buy uh, crates. So here we go. Soldier crate. You can buy them, but they get more and more expensive each time. So my next one will cost me 7,000. Anything you buy in the game is purely for cosmetics. There's no pay to win in this game. It's purely for cosmetic reasons. And you also have daily quests. So I did a, a few quests. So rank in the top 10 with the squad, kill one enemy with a headshot and join one match okay done you click here collect all and you see and i've opened up a couple more chests for the daily so if you play the game each day you can keep progressing keep leveling and so on what you also have in the game is um clans so with clans um, as per any typical shooter game you can work together you can team up with your clans and so on if you're not in a clan you can just see a list of clans available you can see the requirements usually the requirements are just depending on your level and um, you also have shops and perks and different things that the clan can unlock together but like I said I would recommend jumping into this game with uh, friends 